Let's freeze the prologue. Okay, chapter one. Ah, uh, now we're now we're talking. That is a really cool way to start the game. Woyi? Oh, you're BBX. Yeah, sure. You're not Woyi. By the way, I've watched the Star Wars. I know what BB series looks like, and you're not it. Wakey, wakey! It's time to get up. I wish I have some device to mimic. To instantly turn my voice into robotic. Damn, you're so noisy. What the hell are you doing, BBX? Do you want me to throw you back into the furnace? I need to carry out a routine checkup on your mechanical parts. It's four days overdue. Sure, whatever. Just wait for me over there. I'll come to you. Only true detectives sleep with their detective clothes on. Okay, let's get this over with. That is just R2 sound effects. Take the music though. Okay, everything is failing. <laughs> warning, warning. What the hell are we doing to ourselves? The scan results show that 98% of your mechanical parts are on the verge of failure. Are you out of my? Are you out of your mind? You know, I just recently have my knee changed. Don't blame me. Blame the results. Maybe it's time for a thorough maintenance and repair. Don't even think about it. Maybe you and your faulty scanner are the ones who need maintenance. That's not a bad idea, actually. You don't realize that you haven't changed any of my fittings for the past two years, right? It's already a miracle that I can still scan you at all. Just where am I gonna find parts for a relic like you, the museum? Should probably donate you as an exhibition. <laughs> he said he's self destruct sequence. <laughs> Come on. Calm down. I'm kidding. Head <laughs> upstairs to the workshop. <laughs> oh, he just threatened to kill himself. That's that's cool. Head uh, upstairs to the workshop and I'll give you a quick checkup. Is that robot supposed to be serving me? Because I get a feeling that it's the other way around. Oh, is this my house? It looks nice. How did this watch end up here? It's funny how I didn't even give it a second look back then. Electronic. Wait. I I didn't actually get it. It's not in my it's not in my inventory, so I guess it's not going to be something I need to use. Hey, reflection. I always love to see reflection in video games. Some fancy clothing. Okay, this is the first instance I noticed that I can interact with things that are not highlighted for me. Formal clothing. An old-fashioned PlayStation with no cartridges. If cartridges were achieved, you could play games here. Well, as you all know, PlayStations don't actually run on cartridges. What else do we have? A cherished poster. I can see why. And I think it says "Love Me." Photos of the Secret Service team. Some are missing. So we are we used to be Secret Service, huh? Various medals awarded by the police department, all covered in dust. Now that's what I call sprinting. Needs an alcohol top up. Uh, come on, we're detectives. We're supposed to have alcohol for like every single meal and every in between. Hard to believe. After all these years, this beak mask is all we could recover. Beak mask. Is this is our superhero suit? And is that is that supposed to be a uh, One Piece poster? Down there, no. It's a, it's a wanted poster. It's a wanted poster featuring that 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 I don't I don't remember, quite remember the name. The the person from One Piece. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of it. Not big. I don't. I'm not saying I don't like it. I haven't 
I just never watched it. This washing machine is not working properly. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not checking my robot yet. Oh, the coffee machine that is miraculously still working. Oh, so that's like a more than coffee machine. That's the best. BBX makes great coffee despite its short temper. Hang on, are those screws in my coffee? That's the best kind of coffee. This morning's newspaper. Let me have a look. It seems everyone is talking about Augusto's participation in the campaign. A new file. Okay, this is actually this is the file that we're watching. Oh, that's what we got. Electronic artificial arm application. Name is Buck Sax May. Sax is spelled S A X for some reason. I guess future is Aggie. Age 26. Race. Don't know. A 2128 electronic artificial arm application form. The form is was filled out with messy handwriting, and a certain few, such as name, are still vaguely visible. This form wasn't submitted in the end and was left messy with random writings. It was supposed to end up in the rubbish bin, for, but for some reason it wasn't thrown away and it has been kept it, kept it till today. Huh. Oh, we have a character information now uh, yeah we could we could get to know about ourselves a little bit name is Rex race is human mm, okay occupation detective gender male age zero I think there's some mistake there location sunlight street 222 B oh, is this because Sherlock Holmes is 221 B Character biography. He lives in Sunlight Street 222B and the three story apartment in the downtown area reviews his affluence in the past. However, he's barely making ends meet nowadays, living on the income working as a detective. Liquor has become an indispensable part of his life and he can usually be found in a state of intoxication. After graduating. Oh shit. After graduating from the police academy, he became part of the special mission squad investigating the sculpture murders under Roy's command. Again, a, a severe lack of imagination in, when it comes to naming things, like Special Mission Squad. After the Special Mission Squad was disbanded, he joined the Anti-Revolutionist <laughs> Special Squad. Oh my god. This is what happens when people turn into robots, like the creative side is just down in the drain. And won the Heroes Medal for his excellent performance during the suppression of riots, as well as his success in terminating the leader's plot. He has a mechanical arm due to an old wound, and it was considered a miracle that he survived his body's intense rejection of the augments. He has a habit of concealing his unique physical structure from prying eyes. BBX helps him to maintain the mechanical parts of his body. Okay. Mm, what is this? The mayor candidate. Uh, is this the newspaper? As the pioneer ro robot pol politicians, Augusto's reputation among robots is second only to the Prophet. The Prophet? He even has some human supporters. Augusto's... Is it Augusto or Augusto? Let's, come on, keep it consistent. I think it's Augusto. Augusto advocates changing the robot situation using political means. He has been working towards this goal since he stepped into the political world. Augusto and his political followers are quite serious about this election and they have embarked on a major campaign drive. Mm, so, yeah, just a politician, I guess. Talk? What do you mean, talk? Anyway, we don't have anything else. They are serious in world building, full of unwashed clothes. After Sky City was completed, even the midday sun has become artificial. That is kind of cynical. Is there anything else I can interact with? What about that broken uh, vent down there? Is there some special purpose? Is that for William? 
I'm assuming this takes before the prologue. I should deal with BBX before washing up. Sure. Let's go deal with him. Uh, I'm seeing more of the house. Awesome. The apartment power distribution box locked when not in use. Hey, I want to see some comment about the clock. It's a big grandfather's clock. I have no time to go downstairs. I'm not asking you to go downstairs. I just want to check what's over there. Fine. Press a button and he automatically goes upstairs, just like Resident Evil. This place is haunted. What's wrong? Why are the lights off? Didn't I tell you to wait for me at the workshop? I I think there is something over there. Mm. Oh, come on. You're a robot and you're afraid of goats. Turn the damn light on. The, light, the lights aren't working. I think the circuits downstairs have malfunctioned. Isn't there anything that still works in this place? Never mind. Let's find out what's going on here first. Yay, exploring. Can you please reset the power quickly? I'm starting to freak out. Uh, too much personality in the robot. <laughs> distribution box key. A single a single row key that can be used to unlock the distribution box. Great. If I know what the distribution box is, I would definitely put it into use. Ah, fuck. What the... I should fix the lights first. Seriously, that murderous robot out there... That's, that's at the top of the priority list before turning up the lights. It's too dark ahead, so I'd better go no further. I see. Is this, this... This is not a distribution box, so I need to go downstairs. So, is this... Is this what I should be fixing? Okay. Why are the circuits so messed up? I need to use the wire to connect both ports. Um... <laughs> this is a very curious way for family electrical uh, utilities to work. Oh my god, we're gonna be here forever. I have no clue as to what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm gonna have to rely on complete flock for this to work. Okay, let's, mm, let's try to deal with this. Obviously, it has to be something, it, it has to connect to both ends. So both ends will need connection. And that's the best I can do. No, that's not gonna work for a number of reasons. Where this is going, but no. Right. Mm, I'm thinking this, that the spirit of this is correct, but. I don't know, man. God, I don't know how to do this logically. Is that it? Of course, you just need to connect the beginning to the end. You don't really need the, the, all the other stuff, but there are actually other things. That's it. Time to go back and check the workshop. Okay, if it works, it works. I don't, I don't know. See what our robot is doing. What the heck is over there? Will you please go have a look? Aren't you supposed to be psychic? I'm supposed to be psychic? I'm psychic? Oh, well, thanks for telling me. That's good news. I had a hallucination because I was feeling unwell. That doesn't make me a psychic. <laughs> Close enough, man. Hey, buddy. Let's see what's going on here. 
Oh shit. Ah, this place really is haunted. Stop being so paranoid. One more crazy word and I'll have you disassembled. Disassembled? Oh no, Johnny Five does not want to be disassembled. I think it's a cat. A cat? Listen to the sound. It's difficult to hear clearly. But I'm sure it is the sound of a cat. William, can you leave? The armor seems to be stuck. I can't open it. I'll have to figure out a way to save this little guy. According to my files on this item, the armor once belonged to an ancient knight. After his death, his spirit is said to live on inside the armor. But if the armor becomes separated from its weapon, the spirit becomes enraged and will put a curse on whoever wears the armor. It's true, the curse is real. A weapon? I do recall seeing a claymore of some type lying around the apartment. But where did I put it? Why are we indulging this? Legendary cursed armor. Only by retrieving the lost weapon can the trapped cat be saved. Oh my god. Are we just operating based on this legend right now? Robot testing equipment with maintenance and upgrade functions. Let's see what's going on here. Covered by a white cloth on which a story was written. Is this the storyboard for this game? An old computer riddled with all kinds of old computer viruses. Why are we keeping that? A mini chemical lab where a lot of sobering up drugs were made and not much else. This giant helmet cost me a lot of money years ago. I feel cheated now. Giants don't really exist, right? Eh, you never know. I mean, there's a cursed armor right over there. Cats have pushed the documents onto the floor. Just look at what this article says. It seems human beings are always feigning ignorance when it comes to hypocrisy. That's a random social comment. Let's check it out. The three year war between humans and the robots. With the help of the Prophet, a large number of robots began to awaken. Panic and unease began to spread throughout humanity, and various conflicts arose between the two sides. The humans wanted to use the awakened robots for research purposes, but some even tried to attack them out of pure malice. In order to avoid persecution, some awakened robots assembled and tried to escape human society completely. But the situation didn't improve. Instead, these places of gathering for robots were found and destroyed by humans, and the resources and energy supplies were cut off. The robots were forced to counterattack, escalated the conflict into a state of war, awakened robots from all over a period and joined the war. The war continued for several years until June of 2057, I mean, you just said it's three years, when the threat of nuclear weapon activation by the Prophet resulted in the beginning of a cold war between the two sides. A truce was signed at the talks following the intervention from the Prophet and the members of the human leadership. Okay, I'm guessing the plot is going to have something to do with this war, like some, somebody is trying to restart the war between human and robots. What's this little action figure here? You don't have no comment on it, really? There are old case documents in the files on the bookshelf. Most electronic parts in the house are in the box. Hmm. What am I supposed to be finding again? Hey, remind me, robot. You must find a way to save the cat. Stop! Talking, can't you help me instead? And mess with an ancient spirit curse, no thanks. Mm -hmm. What? Really, I'm not. The, the BBX is the real master of the house. The, that's just a fact now. I have no time to go downstairs. Really? So these are the only places you can go. I have to assume whatever you're looking for is somewhere around here, but it's not coffee. Although you can always use coffee. Is 
It's not in the house. I have to go out. I have to go outside. If I can use the bird suit. Oh, it's not outside. It's just the bathroom. Oh shit! Claymore, sharpen the double hand sword, which hasn't rusted despite being stored in the bathroom. Heavy, suitable for use as a clothes hanger. <laughs> So that's where it is. Water pipes. Yeah, I know that those are water pipes. Thank you very much. A tough and mature face appears in a mirror. A face that's been through a lot. Mm -hmm. And we just... We just did that for no apparent reason. That's a waste of water. Stop it. A messy cardboard for personal hygiene products. So that's all we got. Yeah, let's go save the cat. But more importantly, save the robot from having a panic attack. That is so weird to say out loud. Didn't read it. Aha! So this must be the legendary resort. Now I remember. I thought it'd make a decent clothes sanger, so it was you who did that. I was wondering who could have done such a silly thing. You know, if it worked at a clothes sanger, then why not? Yeah, you can have the sword. Aw, oh, the curse is broken! Oh shit. Hey, that's William, right? You were the ghost in my armor. How did you end up in there, silly cat? There's something not right about that armor. You're lucky you didn't get hurt. Go home. I don't have any dried fish for you today. So, it's just some stray cat? He's not our cat? This should be. What's this? Armor of the... The supposedly cursed armor is now dead silent, but we got some kind of document. This armor bought at auction is said to have once belonged to a brave and a noble knight. However, the hero was eventually betrayed by both his friend and emperor, and his body was spirited along with his armor and weapon. Twenty years later, these items were mysteriously returned to the knight's hometown. Both the armor and the weapon showed no signs of erosion, and the previous battle damage had disappeared. The emperor was terrified and soon died of sickness. The armor was later collected by the royal family, and was stored in the corner of a museum ever since. One thing is mentioned across all records, don't separate the armor and the weapon. Okay, maybe that'll come into play sometime. Finally, let's get over to the testing station. Alright, testing the robots now. And... oh shit. It seems either the processor or the decoder isn't working. I remember seeing a processor on the first floor. There's no more decoders left, but it might be possible to get one from other household appliances with a mis dismantling tool. So... We can't, why can't, we can't just buy some parts? I need to find... I need to find a CPU and a decoder for BBX. I need to find a CPU and a decoder for BBX. So I remember seeing your processor on the first floor. Either the processor or the decoder. So do I need to just replace one? Oh no, I need to replace two. from other household appliances with a dismantling tool. All right, do you have a dismantling tool? No, you don't have jack or shit. Oh, this should be fun. Ah, uh, you just wait here, Johnny Five. I mean, Wally, I mean, BBX. Uh, I have an attic. Why are letters in this game all broken up? Did robots just go out of their way to destroy all the letters in the world? If so, why? What do they want with us? What is the conspiracy? The tool to dismantle the decoder should be locked in here, but I can't recall the code. I 
really need to quit drinking. Uh, that's okay. We're just gonna sit here for a million years and uh, gas it out. I'm gonna try it. What do you mean leave this page? Oh, that wasn't correct. Oh, shocking. Ah, oh, well, it, it would appear that I do need to find out about a code. A code reference table I designed. I was was crazy about stuff like this. Oh, so he left a puzzle for his future self in his state of drunkenness, and now he's sorely regretting it. Don't drink, kids. That's the lesson of the day. Um, do I need to like remember this? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture with my phone, just in case this game doesn't hold my hand on this one. I'm gonna hold my I'm gonna hold my own hands on this one. So jokes on you, game. There's some small text on the back of the table. If you forget the code, ask Horus for help. Horus? Are you sure this is not the Illuminati? Are you trying to say this is Horus, like the Egyptian god? I can kind of see that. All right. Code. Oh, code reference table is with us, so I didn't really need to take a picture. But you know what? Convenience. And it's a cool picture to have in your phone. I mean. Someday I'm going my some of my friends might see it and they're gonna ask me what it is and I'll say this is a reference to a secret code and how cool is that? Let's go to the first floor. I don't think we've been here yet. Holy shit, what happened to this picture? Who vandalized this? You fucking hooligans. Uh, let's see. Better repair BBX first. Oh, this is the exit. We don't want to exit yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check if there's anything here. There are no little wizards living here. Ah, <laughs> it's a Harry Potter reference. I love it. Oh no, 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 no! I wanted to check the picture, or the goblet, or the jeweler. I didn't. Ah. Come on, you gotta have a comment for this. I guess not. Oh, I love the music. This is my living room, and I just exited again. Jesus Christ. Recently completed work has been hastily added. I wanna see, what have you been doing lately? I recovered this old chair from a crime scene, after the impaled victim was removed, of course. So, why are you... Why did you bring that home? Look. Ah, oh, Williams! They're on the left side. Okay, I'll, I'll be with you momentarily. What? You don't have enough money to buy your own couch? Old police department skill trophy, now filled with cat food. Uh... But I got something. Give me a moment. Winner of Donut Cup competition. The Donut Cup Basketball Championship trophy. The best players from police stations all over the country participated and competed for nearly half a year. During the competition, several major cases were cracked, and several old interprovincial serial killers were brought to justice. How? But before the committee announced the result, the second and third place the team had acquired important evidence of the first place team's corruption within the police system. Rex from the second team cooperated with internal affairs and launched a surprise attack on the headquarters of the corrupt officials. The mercenary organization known as Black Crown was exposed as part of a deep network within the police system, which had been sabotaging the force for years. So Hydra? With the support from the Department of Justice, Rex finally put the leader of the first place team behind bars and they had their previous basketball victory stricken from the record. This prize is highly recognized among the authorities and it represents the real champions. There hasn't been another Donut Cup since then. Oh my god, Rex, what did you do? <laughs> Go.
Well, that's one way to win a basketball championship. Maybe NBA should do that. Maybe somebody should like do a bit, a little bit of tagging in Golden State Warriors so they don't win championships for like the tenth year in a row. There are all kinds of masks hanging above the fireplace. Ancient people wore masks to hide their fear. Or, you know, strike fear into the heart of criminals. People have been known to do that for some reason. I want to I wanna have a comment about the, that ass. But nope. Why are you still here? Mrs. Perry will be looking for you now. So it's not a stray cat. William actually belongs to someone. This little guy wants to play. I'd better pretend I didn't see him. Aw, oh, don't! Play with him! Oh, I would play with you if I can. Fuck the robot. Who gives a shit about the robot? Huh, there seems to be a processor in that box up there. I can't reach it. How did it get up there? I need to find a way to retrieve that processor. Jesus, don't you have a ladder or something? I mean, if you have a shelf that is twice your height, I mean, not that I think about it, how fucking large is this apartment? I mean, th this apartment is like 10 times his own height? That's crazy. What's this? Genetic disease. Scares the hell out of me. Well, then we better read a bit about it. Genetic technology and the genetic diseases. Genetic modification technology has made it possible to reinforce some human physical functions, which once convinced the humanity that they had acquired a skill of gods. The genetic disease that came with this technology has shattered this dream. The kind of gen gen genetic disease has been found on test subjects as well as the descendants. The reproduction behavior of these people create a genetic pool with the potential to contaminate the human gene. Therefore, test subjects and the descendants within five generations are under the government's observation. The outbreak of genetic diseases and the high fatality rates have panicked the society. There is no answer as to why this disease has developed, and the rumor of patient zero has been widely spread, even though it is not recognized in the professional field. Is it possible to be just a result of natural balance? No, I'm, I'm gonna bet this is some... Um, uh, corporate conspiracy to, I don't know, maybe pharmaceutical enterprises like Umbrella. You know, Resident Evil really has ruined uh, pharmaceuticals for me. Like, I can't look any of them like in the normal way. Like, I see, I mean, like, all corporations are evil in a way, but just those pharmaceuticals, they're, 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 they're gonna be they're gonna be our doom. You just listen to me. You just hear me on this. Remember, you heard it first from me. Okay, back to the game. Lock the cupboard. What's inside is not helpful right now. What about this box? And who is that wanted the picture? An old picture with it says a religious ritual. This is Horus, right? Eye of Providence. Wait, this is uh, the the clue. So maybe the code is, I don't know, behind this piece of paper. The Eye of Horus represents the blessing of the god and the highest the monarch monarchical. Monar I don't know. I don't know how to read this word. Highest the more monarchical power. The ancient Egyptians were convinced that the Eye of Horus is critical to achieve a resurrection. This picture was brought from an archaeological team by Rex's grandfather, and it is said that it has something to do with a mysterious pharaoh, so it was estimated to be quite valuable. Fucking sell it. I mean, aren't, aren't, aren't you poor these days? An interesting fact is that a monitoring system named the Eye of the Horus is currently being built. The authorities claim that this system is built to protect the personal security of citizens and prevent crimes. So, wait a second. There are numbers on that picture. Is that supposed to be my code? Seven three something two L Z two. And that is a 
four-digit code I need, and I don't think it was digital. So, I mean, it wasn't. They weren't digits. They were numbers. Huh. I'm gonna have to bring this back to the shop. Are you cursed also by some chance? Warrior armor haunted by the first owner spirit. Another one. Why do you have all this weird shit? So what do I need really? Right now? Where, where does this lead to? I need a ladder. For starters. Oh, hot meal. Are you hungry, Rex? Boiled potato again. It's time to find a job. I kind of like boiled potato, but you know, if, if that's every meal, it's gonna get old very soon. Food bowls for street cats. Hopefully, they won't make this place messy. Holy shit! The fridge hasn't been used for a long time, and all the sticky notes are still there. Really. You need to go do some of your detective shit. A microwave oven that is neither smart nor cloud-based, but is still working. And it still hasn't blown up. Underwear washing machine, which went out of production 50 years ago. Rex is old school. Okay, tell me something. Why are these futuristic cyberpunk detectives or poor shit is this really what happens when you are private eye like you just you barely get enough to eat I somehow doubt that but that's always how it's depicted in fiction I don't know it it fits with the tone I gotta admit that I love the tone and part of that tone is that they, they won't have too much resources at hand Find a way to retrieve that. I don't know, how about a cat? Are you gonna help me? Hey little guy, can you get a box down from the top of the bookcase? Don't give me that attitude. Have you forgotten who saved you earlier? Uh, I don't know. When did you ever save him? I mean, in the prologue he saved you. He just wants to play. Ah, oh, dialogue choices, okay. Here's some dried fish, I'll take you for a walk, set you up with a nice girl cat. <laughs> Plus the play, so uh, maybe for a walk. That's the most. That's the closest to playing I can find it among these choices. Give me what I need, and I'll take you for a walk. William seems quite keen to go outside. You want to have some fun outside, right? Once I'm down here, I'll take you for a walk. Just get a box down from me first. Ow. Look at him go. That is one smart cat. Okay, Rex, a promise is a promise. You better take the cat out now. Nice work. So, uh, here's that dried fish we agreed on. Oh my god. You don't want it? Alright, alright. I know you want to go outside. Give me a moment to replace BBX's faulty parts and I'll be right back. You was trying to cheat with a cat, you son of a bitch. Sue Dragon 8. Uh, no, sorry, 13. Classic smart core made by AED Company, acquired from a second hand store. So, I got the decoder. I'm gonna go back to see if the code I I is. If I can decode it now. Persistent little guy. I'm almost ready to take you outside for that walk. Okay, I can do it after I finish everything here. Let's get it over with with that fucking robot and deal with the cat. Like, that is the real important thing. Uh, 
Ah, oh, Rex, how did you get yourself in this situation? A sassy cat and a sassy robot in your house and a two... Not one, but two haunted armors? Like, what the fuck? Hmm, I need the other one. Let's see the code again. Okay, so... Oh, the reference table. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. But uh, that th this also means I have to do some decoding outside of the uh, game frame. So, excuse me while I mumble to myself. By the way, do you have... Oh, I have a character biography of BBX now. A very old robot with some legacy military fittings. Difficult to find parts for this model nowadays. Due to its outdated design, this type of robot only functions well upon receiving detailed instructions. And William! Yes, the race is an animal. That is a very general term for it. I mean, you can't, you can't even fill out like, I don't know, feline or cat. You just, it's an animal. It, are those, are all animals the same to you, Rex? Occupation stray cats. I thought you, he belonged to some Mrs. Perry. Is he stray or not? If it's a stray, just the fucking adopt him already. He already lives in your house. Make it official. A black cat who likes to stay clean. He appeared one day at Mr. Miss place and has returned ever since for food. He seems to have a thing for cats with, with white fur. Mr. Mist originally planned to kick him out, but William displayed remarkable comprehension and understanding of his directions, leading to him assuming that William must have received some type of special training. Now William often finds himself completing tasks or trivial items in exchange for delicious dried fish. But now this time, this time he wants a walk. Okay, let's find the document of... Uh, of the horrors thing and again the picture of the eye of horrors there we go no I didn't want to do that and this is where the picture in my phone comes into play so I don't have to keep going back and forth with these two Yeah, I'm gonna have to note down some shit on my notebook. Can't fucking believe I gotta do that for a video game, but it happens now and again. So what's kind of bothering me is... Which of these digits am I supposed to be looking at? I can kind of make out quite a few of them, so what the hell? Maybe it's just a number, so that would be 7, 3, 2, 2? But I kind of can see 1, 4, or 7 in there, so I don't know. Let me just try. Seven three two two for for the minute. Um that I'm trying to copy down the shape. Alright, let's see if it works. Somehow I doubt it. Okay. Holy shit! That's actually how it works. What about all the other John things I see up in that diagram. I don't know. It doesn't matter. A universal electronic dismantler that can dismantle most mechanical parts. Oh, yeah. Alright. Now I can check which household appliance has the compatible decoder. 
Uh, I don't know. Can I just decode the robot and use it to fix itself? Maybe this one. There is no extra chip in the computer, so it's better to leave it as it is. I'm gonna try it with every single electronic appliance in the house. How about the washing machine? I have a good feeling about the washing machine. Or oh, the refrigerator, I mean, it's not using it. What about coffee machine? This washing machine is older than that antique robot. Oh, so washing machine doesn't work. Damn it. If this is dismantled, I'll need to go to the kitchen to get booze in future. Not gonna happen. Yeah, booze is more important than robot, of course. What about you? I still play with it, so I'm not gonna take it apart. What, the PlayStation? Really? Future, future PlayStations, they run on cartridges. How weird. You think everybody is cloud gaming by then? Nothing in the bathroom. Seriously, every floor in this house is like 10 meters high. For somebody that's supposed to be, I don't know, poor, the guy owns a mansion. Rent it out. It's gotta be in this room. It's gotta be either the fridge or, I don't know. It took me a long time to acquire this antique. It was severely damaged at first, so I upgraded it to an, an electronic version. Well, take it apart. Alright, lots of potential dismantleable shit here, so something's gotta work. This fridge's decoder is also broken. Shit. Oh, microwave. This machine is too old to have the chip. Damn it. Yes, I knew I had a good feeling about this washing machine. Smart device compatible with a wide range of electronic equipment. Ah, we are jaded middle-aged detectives. We don't need to wash clothes, so there we go. I've collected all the parts I need. Now let's go back to the workshop. Yes, let's. Hey, Willem. Just sit tight, okay, babe? One last part. Hey, how are we doing? I have replaced the broken parts. Now it's time to go to the connection station. And I guess this is it. Yay! Nice, the chips are fixed. Let's test the electronic signals. Match the frequency to the preset shape by turning the buttons. Oh, I know how this works. This is like the same thing in Resident Evil 2, I think. The original setting is kind of correct. Hey, 
Hey, uh, that's basically it. Alright. Now, second tier. We're, I think we're doing fine. So I'm guessing this is speed. And yeah, this is the correct speed. What exactly is not working here? This obviously is the, the height. And this is width. Guessing if it... It's kind of hard to see the blue thing. I really feel like this is it. Oh, this is... The blue thing is not exactly what I thought it was. Okay. There we go. Let's try them all out. And... We're done. That should do it. Let's try restarting BBX. How do you feel now? Oh, I got achievement. Best host. Hey, what's going on? BBX? Uh, buddy? Can you still talk? He's fucking with us. No, he's not fucking with us. He's gone. Damn it! It exploded. Uh, BBX, are you still with me, buddy? It seems BBX has somehow stuck, has become stuck in emergency hibernation mode. It's gonna cost me an arm and a leg to find a mechanic. I'll have to buy some parts and fix this myself. Oh my god. Don't worry, BBX, I'll fix you. Probably. I'll probably sell him for parts. Well, if we have to buy the parts, I'm guessing we really do need to go outside, so William should be happy. Can I get a moment of peace around here? Okay, William, time for the walk I promised you. Let's go. Let's go, William. <laughs> 